What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So a comment I got from one of you guys wanted a simple video about a keyframe. Hold on, where are you going? Come on, stay with me. Hold on, where are you going? So as you saw from this video, we use keyframe to achieve this effect. So in this video, we're gonna show you guys everything you need to know about keyframes when it comes to Final Cut Pro 10. You ready? Let's get started. Keyframe is a frame that indicates the beginning and the ending of a change made to the parameters of your video or your audio and your effect on your timeline. So with keyframe, when two or three keyframes are made on your video with two different values, in between that change occur or a transition occur, and that's what keyframe is all about. So with this, I'm gonna show you guys where to find keyframe and how to go about it when it comes to Final Cut Pro 10. So when it comes to Final Cut Pro 10, you can find the keyframes on the right side of the software over here as you can see next to each parameters we have the diamond thing with a cross sign in between them that shows the keyframe for now we've not set any keyframe at that point so it shows transparent with a cross in between them so let's say when I click on position to set a keyframe for now I've set a keyframe at that very point on the video on my timeline and when I move away you can see it changes color to yellow so whenever you see that it means you've set a keyframe at that very point also you can set your keyframe let me remove that also you can set the keyframe with the drop down menu next to the diamond thing when you click on that you can see it shows add keyframe so you can just click on add and it's going to add the keyframe at that very point and always make sure you click on the video or the audio or the image before you set your keyframe so it will affect that very video or the audio or the image that you want the keyframe or the transition or the changes to happen to so for now I just set a keyframe with the same value and it's just one keyframe so nothing is going to happen from that and if you want to see exactly where the keyframe is also at you can click on the video on your timeline press ctrl v to bring the video animation out and there you can see we've set a keyframe under transform all so later on in this tutorial I'll show you guys when it's necessary to use the video animation when it comes to using keyframes in Final Cut Pro 10 so with this tutorial I'm going to use a video audio and also an image to show you guys how you can go about when it comes to keyframe using final cut pro 10 so with the first example we're going to create a simple zoom in using the keyframes to achieve that as you can see from this video i shot it using a tripod and there was no movement so i just want to create that camera fake movement when it comes to editing using keyframe so with this click on the video go to the beginning part i want it to start from the beginning part of the video go to my transform under the video inspector panel and this time out, since we just want to zoom in to my face so the viewer will know exactly or pay attention to whatever I'm saying we're gonna work on the scale all and also the position so with this I'll click on the diamond thing next to the scale all and it affects the X axis and also the Y axis you can do the X axis and the Y axis separately but when you click on scale all it affects the whole three and also I'll make a keyframe under position and then I'll go to the last but one frame of the video make another keyframe under position and also scale all and since the values are the same as you can see when I scroll nothing is happening to the video it means no changes have been done since the values are still the same when it comes to your parameters on your video side but then now when I increase the size to let's say 150 you can see when I scroll it's zoom in slowly to my face and I want it to be really on my face so I'm I'm going to work on the x axis under the position drag it to my left side because we set the first keyframe on that video itself whenever I do a changes to a parameters under the video panel or the audio panel it's going to affect it's going to make a keyframe on that so now as you can see when I scroll through you can see the video zoom in slowly to my face so now let's talk about the video animation when i click on ctrl v you can see the points the two points that i've made you can see one on this side the two points over here i don't know if you can see that and one at the very end so this in between that's where the changes or the transition okay so now if i want the transition to be really fast all i have to do is click on the ending part of the keyframe or the point that we made drag it closer to the first or the beginning keyframe that we made and let me play and show you to you guys how it looks like 
now you can see the transition happens very fast so with this if you want the transition to be fast you move ending part of the point closer to the beginning part but if you want it to be slow then you move it far away from the beginning part and it's going to be slow when it comes to the transition or the changes now the next example i'll be using is an image that i got online and with this you can see the camera just shows right when i drop it on my timeline it covers the whole page so i just want to animate the image when i'm doing the talking to show you guys how you can use this keyframe when it comes to final cut pro 10. so for now let's change the size to somewhere 40 percent so, and now I just want to animate the image to come from the left side to the screen. So with this, I'll click on the image itself, go to position and make a keyframe over there. Or also I can just, let me remove that. I can set it using the drop down menu and add a keyframe over there. And now I just want it to come somewhere from this side. So there I can set another keyframe on position and now since i just want to animate for the image to come in later on when i'm talking during the video so i'm gonna leave the ending point right at where it is now and then i'll click on this side and as you can see it shows previous keyframe so we can go to the very first keyframe that we set or also i can click on the drop down menu over here and click on previous to go to the first keyframe that we set so over there i'll just work on the x as well since i just want it to come from the left side of the screen so with that i'll just drag it using the x as is so it will disappear from the screen and also if you want to see the direction of the keyframe itself you can click on the box next to the transform or even with the crop when you're working on the crop also the distort you can click on the symbol next to them to bring it out now you can see the straight line showing the movement of the image or the keyframe that we made so in between from this point to this point in between them that's where the transition or the changes occur and that's what the keyframe is all about so with this you can be using this to do the changes or to make the keyframe for example when i move to this side you can see the numbers changing or the values changing under this parameter you can see that it shows that i've made a keyframe to this very point but i like to using the x axis and the y axis to make it simple for me so now let's just go with the x and the y axis so i'll just change this value to zero now i'll click on this box to hide it so now as you can see when i play the image coming from the left side to the screen and now you can use this method to animate any image that you have or also your test when it comes to final cut pro 10 so the same principle applied to the audio when it comes to keyframes in final cut pro 10 so with this i just want the music or the background music to go down when my talking comes in so with this i'll click on the music go to the audio side under volume we'll click on the diamond thing to set the keyframe over there and that shows the starting point and with this we need to set somewhere four keyframes for this effect to work so with this i'll just go let's say five frames forward make another keyframe and then we'll go to where we want the keyframe to end go to that side still make sure you click on the music set another keyframe over there go five frames forward set another keyframe over there so with this what you do is go to your third keyframe that we create change the value to somewhere 24 so minus 24 then go to the second keyframe or you can also use the drop down menu over here to move to your next or the previous keyframes that we have so with this we'll set the same value for that too so that will be minus 24 and now as you can see the audio file when you look closely to the audio file this very part goes down so my talking will come out very clean and right after that you can see it's increased to this side so now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like come out this way and then your camera this way so as you can see the background music goes down when my audio or my voice audio goes up and it makes it easy for the viewers to understand exactly what you're talking about and that was another one way that you can use the keyframe on your audio files now let's go to the next way that you can use the keyframe when it comes to the effects that comes with the final cut pro 10 go to your effect side where it looks 
and then we'll go to x-ray let's use x-ray for this example so with this you drag and drop on your video on your timeline let's close this so we see exactly what we're looking like so right when i drag the x-ray effect on my video on our timeline you can see it affects the whole video but this time around we want the x-ray to come in at a very point or a specific point on our timeline so with this we want it to come in somewhere here so we click on that go to your x-ray under your video panel side next to the amount parameter you can see the diamond thing we can click on that to set a keyframe over there then let's go somewhere 10 frames forward or 15 frames forward set another keyframe under x-ray amount so with this with the ending value we're maintaining the same because we want the x-ray to come in at that very point so then you click on here to go to the previous or the first keyframe that we set or you can use the drop down menu to go to your previous keyframe that we set over there we'll change the value to zero let me bring the video animation out Control v so you can see to so right as you can see this is the starting point and also this is the ending point so in between that's where the changes or the transition happens and that's how the keyframe is all about so now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like so from this very last example you can see you can use the keyframes on almost all the effects that comes with final cut pretend or any effect that you can find online also with the transition your images your test anything when it comes to final cut pretend so knowing the basic of keyframes is going to help you a lot and keep you or make you creative when it comes to editing anyway i've got more tutorials for you guys over here thank you guys see you on the next one peace